in the vast deep forest of Hyrule. Long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. O oh, Navi the fairy, listen to thy words, the words of the Deku tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces even now are, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long the Kokiri forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth, whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now! Find our young friend and guide him to me! I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly! The fate of the forest, nay, the world depends upon thee. And with that, hello everybody, Lightning Spirit 78 here. Welcome back to more Away. We're not welcoming you back to anything. This is a brand new Let's Play. Yes, this is my brand new Let's Play of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Navi the Fairy, the most annoying character in the history of the Zelda series, is flying past a bunch of people. Uh, apparently that guy likes rocks. Anyway. Um, so she's looking for something. And... Comedy! Yeah, she bangs her head right off the fence. <laughs> I always loved that about that. But, anywho... It seems she is searching for somebody. Apparently this boy without a fairy. He looks quite familiar. Hmm. Now where have we seen somebody in that kind of outfit before? Hello? Hello? Link, wake up! The great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. Link, get up! Hey, listen, listen! Wake up! Hey, listen! Wake up! Hey, come on! Yeah, I get used to that. You're gonna be hearing it all the time. Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Uh, five more minutes, Mommy. Uh, yeah, that joke's probably been done a million times. We're off to a wonderful start. Anyway. So, what's up with this fairy? Ah, he finally woke up. I'm Navi the fairy. The great Deku Tree asked me to be a... Bleh, be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The great Deku Tree has summoned you. So, let's get going right now. And leave we shall on a brand new adventure throughout Hyrule. Last time in our adventures of Hyrule, we defeated Ganondorf in the Twilight Princess era of these games, and now we are in the Kokiri Forest, and a girl is running. So, yeah, basically, we've gone back in time, more or less, from the last Let's Play to see how it all began. Yes, I know Skyward Sword started before this LP, but currently, this is believed by many timeline theorists to be where it all began. So, who's this girl with the pretty, uh, green hair that apparently a lot of guys in this forest fall for? Anyway. Yahoo! Hi, Link! Why am I making all the female voices sound the same? Backflip. Girl. We're already off to an epic start. Wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you, Link! Wow, that's great news! I'm so happy for you! Now you're a true Kokiri, Link. 
Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the Great Deku Tree. How many times can we say Great Deku Tree in one freaking sentence? I don't know. Anyways, you can tell we already have a map. Basically, maps are given to us at the start of the game. Much like they were in Twilight Princess, except in dungeons, which is to be expected. Who are you? I don't have a feeling I'm not gonna- I'm going to, like, hate you at the end of the game. Anyway. Hey you, Mr. No Fairy. What's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. Link looks more like a man than you are. What? You got a fairy? Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you? What? Wait, but he summoned you and not the Great Mido. Isn't this funny? Or that this isn't funny? Ugh. Yeah, it is kind of funny to me, but maybe not to you. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the Great Deku Tree? With up with a sword and a shield. You're not gonna let us through. Sheesh! Well, forget you! At least my name is cool and doesn't sound like a cure for diarrhea. Anywho. Hello, sign. Anywho, let's go over here and get our little locking on lesson for the day. I think. Look this way. Look over here with Z. Or if you're playing with the GameCube controller like I am, use L targeting. Wait. Is it L targeting? Yep, L targeting. Yes, yes, that's how, that's how you use a fairy. Yeah, so fairies will basically walk on to many targets in this game. Mostly enemies or signs or things that you can, you know, examine, pick up, look out, blah, 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 blah. Much like this sign right here. See, we can check the sign. Great deck of trees ahead. whoop de freaking do Alright. So, what we need to do now is, according to the great cure for diarrhea, we need to go and get a sword and a shield. So, how do we do that? Well, they don't give you very many clues. Ow. But, if you know the game like I do, you can go into here... Avoiding saying anything that might sound disturbing. And we can come in here and see a little cave. A cave where we can get some money. Be sure to pick up a lot of money on the on the way to get this sword. Money in this game is called rupees, as we know from Twilight Princess. Rupees can be used to buy many, many things. Also, like we know from Twilight Princess. And there it is! You got the Kokiri sword! With this, we can kill things. Yay! Uh, but in all seriousness, you need this to uh, progress on with the game. Because, much like all the other Zelda games, this is, well, kind of a trademark. Link needs his sword. He also needs his shield. Daff! Coco Puff! You look like a giant Coco Puff. I'm sorry, but it does. I think I may have hurt... Coco Puffs. Yeah, I think I may have heard that joke before, but you know what? Who cares? I always thought they looked like Coco Puffs way before any other videos came out, so whatever. So, whatever. Now we're going to come back out here and start collecting some money. How are we doing on time? We are doing good. Alright, what we need to do is, now that we have the sword, we need a shield. Um, basically, to use your sword, you gotta press the B button. Uh, lock onto something, like this. Like, we'll use this rock as an example. And then press the A button to do a jump attack. While locked onto something, press A while holding back to do a backflip. Uh, you can do a sidestep while uh, locking onto something with Z. Or just plain old L targeting while moving left and right. Those are mainly your basic controls. Uh, okay, now we gotta collect 40 rupees, I believe, in order to get our shield from the, uh, Kokiri, uh, shop. Oh, a blue. Blue rupee. Yeah, blue rupees are once again worth five. Green have always been worth one, as far as I can remember. I mean, I'm sure there's some game out there that they were worth, um, something, but I highly, highly doubt it. Anyway, uh, let's help out this guy with the rocks. Uh, he'll tell you if you talk to him to help him clear the rocks away from Mido's house, or maybe Saria's house. It's either Mido's or Saria's house. And sometimes in the rocks there will be rupees. Um, except I'm not having much luck. 
Come on! I need money. Oh, whoa. Is that a frame skip? Oh. Of course, a heart. Yay. Can also find rupees by running around in these patches of grass. Normally, there's not very many times for rupee hunting in this game. Uh, that's mostly done for you in a couple of side quests, which I will be covering. Because I'm going to bring it up right now. This is going to be a 100% LP. All scotch... Scotchulas, all, um... Items, hard pieces, equips, you know, all the other upgrades, all that stuff. So, uh, this is gonna be a fun let's play, guys. There's gonna be plenty of new stuff for you guys to see. Um, that I'm gonna talk about right now. Uh, some new features that I have added to this, which you'll see very soon, are menu systems to help you also 100% your game, or find items that you may not know how to get. Um, they will be split up into sections, uh, like... Kokiri forest menu, um, other things like that, uh, dungeon menus, just a menu for every single section in the game. That covers every single item in the game. Don't want to go in there. Of course we would have only 33 rupees. Uh, and other new things, there will be no sidebars. I'm replacing something else with the sidebar system to tell you how to get things. What that is, you'll only be seeing it for Skullchillas and Heart Pieces, but what that thing is, you're just going to have to wait until we get our first Gold Skullchilla and or Heart Piece. Okay, we seem to be running just a little, a little bit low on time. So guys, I think I might have to end it off right about here. So, I hope you all enjoyed this part. Um, well, if, you, if not, then forget that, but... <laughs> No, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Everybody's entitled to their opinions, but... It just happens to be your opinion's wrong. No. No, no opinions are wrong, but anyway. So, if you like this part, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And in the next episode, we will buy our shield from the Kokiri shop. I'll find the rest of the money off screen. So, like I said, if you like this part, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time. I am a Setsuya Princess. Okay. Toodaloo! Did I seriously just say that? <laughs>